This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSP-TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. For your information, we have some tips on how to make sure you don't become a victim of theft while you're doing your holiday shopping. Good evening and thank you for joining us at FYI. I'm Ken Kara, and before we get to the meat of the show, I want to thank you for watching. We honestly appreciate it every day. Now to the show. The holiday shopping season is in full swing and some criminals will try to take advantage of well-intentioned shoppers. FYI's Lisa Sugar has some important advice on how to avoid becoming the victim of a crime this holiday season. Well, it's that time of the year we're all out shopping for Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, all kinds of gifts right now. And we're pleased to be joined by Luzerne County Detective Chaz Ballow, who has important advice to keep you safe and your valuables safe while you're out shopping. Thanks for being here. I know you always give us a wealth of information. What's the best tip you have for people now that we're out at the malls, the stores, everywhere shopping? Well, we got to keep in mind where we're parking, parking lit areas, and of course, keeping our packages safe while we're in our vehicle. A lot of people will go shopping to multiple locations. So we want to make sure that our packages are concealed somewhere in our vehicle. Obviously inside a trunk is a perfect idea. If you have an SUV, most SUVs have covers, use those. That will limit your chance of becoming a victim of a crime. And of course there's a lot of other things that people can do. Limit the amount of cash you're taking. Limit the amount of credit cards you're going to take. Take credit cards that you know you're, spe you're specifically going to use, and that makes it a lot easier. And of course, when we talk about our credit cards, make sure you know the emergency phone number on the back of that credit card and have your account number or credit card numbers somewhere at home in a safe deposit box or a safe box at home. So that way, if you should lose one, misplace one, or one even gets stolen, you can immediately go home, call the police, notify them, and of course, contact your credit card company and let them know that it's either misplaced or stolen. And if we're out shopping and we have like a gut instinct, a gut feeling that maybe somebody suspicious is behind us or following us, what do we do? Well, stay in that lidded area, go back into a store, you know, obviously surveil the area. We talk about surveillance in the area. When you're walking to your vehicle and a lot of people this time of year are going to have a lot of stuff in their hands. Always have your key ready. Have that keyless entry, unlock the door when you're close to the car but not too far in advance and of course if you see people standing around that area you know be vigilant about who they are what they're doing and if you feel uncomfortable simply walk back to a safe area until those individuals leave uh, you know another great point at this time of year people are going to be using atms you know you're going into an atm going to a place that you know is safe because obviously this is the time of year where people will stand around or park in their vehicle and watch and wait for someone to use the ATM and then as soon as they come out, try to rob them. So use, again, use your gut instinct. If you think something's not right, don't use that ATM. There's many of them. And if we're shopping at our computer in the safety of our own home, we have to be careful there as well. Oh, absolutely. I, I will recommend that everyone who's gonna be doing any kind of online shopping, and many people will, is to go to sites that you're familiar with, reputable businesses that you've dealt with, that you have accounts with. Make sure it's a secured website, especially when you're putting your personal information, such as your credit cards and other pertinent information. So when you're online, use these reputable businesses. And again, it's just for their safety. All right. Important advice. We all want to have a very happy holiday season, and we want to stay safe doing it. Great advice. Thank you, Detective, and thank you, Lisa. Now here's our Tuesday headlines from FYI and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Luzerne County can borrow up to $20 million to allow it to remain open for business. That was the ruling yesterday from County Judge Thomas Burke. The money is to be used to prevent a potential shutdown of non-essential essential services in the county. County officials have said that there is not enough money in the general fund to pay approximately 1,300 employees through the end of this year. The budget battle in the state capital means that the county has not received its state reimbursement since July. 
A man from Redding is facing charges in connection with a chase in Shenandoah that left a police cruiser demolished and another vehicle damaged. 24-year-old Byron D. Schering was arraigned yesterday on two counts of attempted murder and two counts of attempted criminal homicide of a law enforcement officer and other charges. Late Sunday night, Shenandoah police attempted to pull over a car he was driving for an equipment violation. Schering was committed to the Schuylkill County Prison in lieu of $100,000 cash bail. Next Monday, the Greater Hazleton Concert Series will present its fourth performance in a series, A Christmas Carol, the Musical. This delightful and thoroughly entertaining adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol features the music of 26 beloved traditional carols of the season woven through the classic tale. Travel through time with Ebenezer Scrooge as he's made to see the light by the ghosts of his own life. The curtain goes up on A Christmas Carol, the Musical, next Monday, December 7th at 7.30 p.m. at the Hazleton Area High School. Tickets are 30 dollars for adults and ten dollars for students for tickets and information you can call 788-4864 ssp tv and the making a difference foundation have teamed up with the making a difference ministries to bring you christmas with a twist this thursday at sand springs country club in drums this old-fashioned country christmas concert begins at 6 30 p.m simply bring a new unwrapped toy for admission a toy for a child from the age infant up to the age of 16, all proceeds benefit Brandon's Forever Home. Coming up next, the Living Nativity in Cunningham is one of the biggest events of the holiday season. Learn about the 2015 event when we come back. And later, more news out of the Great Borough of Cunningham as we'll tell you about a brand new 5K race coming to the Valley this holiday season. This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSP-TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. You're invited to take part in a new tradition of generosity. Today is Giving Tuesday, a global day dedicated to giving back. On this day, charities, families, businesses, community centers, and students around the world are coming together to celebrate generosity and to give. Included in that group is Brandon's Forever Home, a nonprofit organization that is reminding everyone that it's better to give than to receive. If you would like to donate your time in kind donations or monetary donations to benefit the foster children of Brandon's Forever Home, you can log on to Brandon's foreverhome.com or send a check to 187 North Church Street, Hazleton, PA 18201. For more information, call Brandon's Forever Home at 570-926-5117. Time now for FYI News 13 weather. The fence is down and the Center City Park is another step closer to completion in downtown Hazleton and that's the city's Christmas tree in the background and there was some electrical work being done while I was shooting this earlier on Tuesday. Let's get to our local forecast now from the National Weather Service. Tonight periods of rain or drizzle low of 43 degrees, wind up to 7 miles per hour and new precipitation amounts between a quarter and a half of an inch possible. Here's the four day outlook. More rain on Wednesday, high near 50 degrees with a calm wind. Wednesday night showers likely that's mainly before 1 a.m. Mostly cloudy, low of 37. On Thursday, it gets interesting. A slight chance of rain and snow showers before 11 a.m. Then a slight chance of rain showers between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. And then once again, a chance of rain and snow showers after 4 p.m. Mostly cloudy. Our high will be 42 degrees. Wind gusts up to 17 miles per hour. On Thursday night, partly cloudy, low of 31 degrees. Degrees. Friday will be sunny with a high of 42. Friday night, mostly clear, low of 31 degrees. Saturday will be sunny with a high in the mid 40s. And then Saturday night, mostly clear, low of 31 degrees. It is truly one of the most beautiful Christmas traditions in our area, and it's been taking place for 22 years. I'm talking about the drive through Living Nativity, which is sponsored each and every year by Christ Lutheran Church, Main Street in Cunningham. Here to tell us all about it is their new pastor, Pastor Carolyn. Uh, she is Pastor Carolyn Hetrick, who has been at the church since January, so a relative newbie. Okay. <laughs> and this is her first drive through Nativity. And then we have the seasoned pro over here, <laughs> Lou Dreyfus, who is the congregation's president. And you've been involved in 21 of the 22 years. That's pretty amazing. It is, and it's, uh, I can't believe how much time has passed, uh, but uh, it's great. It's part of our, our Christmas tradition every year, and, and uh, we're just delighted to do it again this year. 
This is really a monumental effort. Uh, I know I live in the community and I've seen this many times over the years. This is truly beautiful, what this represents. And you told me it's the church's gift to the community. It is, it's, uh, it's something the congregation wants to give to the community. It's absolutely free for those who attend. We don't even, uh, there's not even an opportunity to make an offering for it. So it, it truly is a gift. We have hundreds, hundreds of members of the congregation make it happen and, and work pretty much all year round to get ready for it. So things are uh, at a fever pitch now in preparation and we have some heavy work ahead of us, but, uh, uh, but we, we love doing it and it's a great way to get the members of the congregation energized, include a lot of people. And, and again, we have hundreds of people who, who drive through and, and, and we just love it. And since it's drive through, you know it's outdoors in all kinds of weather, and you have animals there as well. This is very realistic. We do. We have uh, there are 14 scenes, and we have um, we have cows and sheep and, and all kinds of things. And, and weather permitting, we have uh, Humphrey the camel. So that's a that's a great thing. If it's raining, the camel can't be out, but the rest of us all are. Uh, the camel might be smarter than some of the people, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, any kind of weather, and usually you can you can pretty much set your calendar that uh, on the week weekend of Living Nativity it's going to be nasty out. But we're but we're always there, and we and as I said, we just love it. Oh, well, we love it too. And Pastor Carolyn, you came in January, so you missed it last year when you came. So what went through your mind when you heard about this wonderful tradition? Well, actually, when I interviewed with the congregation, that was one of the things that we talked about. And I'm just really excited to be a part of something that's not only a long-standing tradition, but is a source of great joy, both for the congregation as well as for the community. It helps us remind everybody the real reason that we are celebrating in this season. We're celebrating the birth of Christ, and in a time when our world is having so many struggles, remembering that we're celebrating the Prince of Peace, I think is a real wonderful gift this time of year for all of us. Are you amazed at the fact that, as Lou said, there's literally like hundreds of people involved in this? I am. Right now, the church has taken over with all the costumes and all of the sets being set up and lining up all of the animals. And I had the joy of the babies that I've baptized of asking families, oh, by the way, can we use your child as a part of you know, the, the scene as well? And so we've been lining up everyone who will play baby Jesus as well. And that's a pretty exciting thing to do. And as they're going through the drive through this year, you're going to be there meeting everyone that goes through. I will be. I'll be right out at the front when you first come. So come on out. Allow us to greet you and share the good news of the season and the joy for the world. Well, I'm sure you will be very impressed, as is the entire community, when this takes place. Lou, I'd be remiss if we don't give them the dates and the times. <laughs> and I'm going to go brain dead. No, it's the, uh, December 5th and 6th <laughs> from 6 to 8 each night. And uh, you can line up a little early because sometimes the traffic does line up a little bit. But uh, 6 to 8, and if you're in line at 8 o'clock, you won't miss it. We'll get you through. And I know um, in, on Main Street in Cunningham, many of the homes are lit up, so you're in line waiting, and it's all decorated beautifully, so it really puts you in the Christmas spirit. It does, and we, have a, we actually broadcast on an FM station, so there's uh, uh, traditional Christmas carols playing as you go through, and if you're waiting in line, you can enjoy that as well. Alrighty, and again, we want to stress the fact that this is free. It is the church's gift to the community. I'm going to ask you one last time to invite everybody to come on down. Come on out and see us at Christ Lutheran in Cunningham for the Living Nativity, December 5th and 6th. Beautifully said. Hope that the entire area goes down and makes this their biggest and best yet. I am back here at McCann School of Business and Technology in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. We're with Kayla and we're talking about massage treatments and relaxing you for the holiday time. So Kayla, there are many massage treatments that you could get here at McCann. Yes, we offer Swedish. Uh, aromatherapy, which is Swedish with some aromatherapy oils. Right now we are promoting um, a pomegranate and cranberry and immune boost. We also offer prenatal massage for all the mommies out there, soon to be mommies, and we also offer therapeutic. Uh, we offer some spa treatments as well. We're offering a spa face treatment, spa foot treatment, full body exfoliation, and we offer reflexology as well. Okay, your prices are very reasonable. Yes, they are. Our Swedish massage with a master therapist is $40 for the 60 minutes. So that's one of the cheapest uh, places around here as far as I know. It's very inexpensive and why not treat yourself? Talk about certification. Certification. Uh, well, 18 months is a program here that you can do. Uh, as long as you're at all your classes, 18 months you're done and then you can sit for your state boards. And uh, state boards, if you pass, you're licensed right away. 
and then you can start practicing. All right. What are some uh, things that people should look for when they go to book a massage at any kind of facility? Uh, you just want to make sure that, of course, you have a very friendly therapist. That is most important. And you want to be comfortable. You want to make sure you're comfortable in your setting. Uh, you, know, you want to make sure you have a clean, uh, sanitary room. And, uh, you know, just as long as you're relaxed and you're feeling, you know, good about the whole uh, situation, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's as long as you feel welcome and relaxed and you're getting what you need out of that massage, that's all you really need to look for. Okay, so we want you to give McCann a call again. They are open to the public. You can get a massage here at McCann School of Business in Hazleton. Thank you, Lisa and Janine. Before we go to break, here's your daily green screen. It's your midday winning Pennsylvania lottery numbers. Pick two, four, six, pick three, eight, five, four, pick four, three, three, five, nine, and pick five, eight, one, eight, four, five. When we come back, we'll tell you about the Christmas in Cunningham Classic 5K run and one mile walk. Hello again and welcome to Law Talk. Today we're going to talk about auto coverage. Uh, it's a topic that's on everybody's mind virtually all the time and, and, and one of the things that I think you should know and uh, very important to you is you know when you get full coverage from your auto insurance agent is it really good coverage? So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Alexis recently had an experience uh, with a client that came in and asked about that so we'll let her uh, talk to you about full coverage versus good coverage. Thank you. Um, full coverage by Pennsylvania law isn't necessarily good coverage that you might have. Uh, when you're looking to purchase car insurance, some of the things you want to consider would be uh, whether or not there is a wage loss benefit as that part of your insurance. Uh, Pennsylvania law does not require you to have that. Uh, something else to consider would be the medical coverage that you might have applicable. If you're involved in an accident, your insurance company will pay for any accident-related medical treatment that you receive. However, they'll pay only up to a point as to what your coverage has. Uh, for example, in Pennsylvania, the minimum coverage that you have is $5,000. And if you're significantly injured and you have no health insurance, then you're very limited as far as uh, the type of treatment that you may have uh, based on the fact that you have minimal medical coverage. But under Pennsylvania law, this would be considered full coverage. It's not necessarily good coverage. Uh, something else you want to consider is uninsured or underinsurance coverage. Uh, that is also not mandated by Pennsylvania law. However, you want to consider purchasing that as part of your coverage uh, because you have people who are driving that might not be insured they might cause an accident, and if you have no uninsurance coverage, then you have no recourse. You have no uh, type of action that you can take to get any type of recovery. Um, similar to that would be underinsurance. If you're hit by a driver and they're responsible for causing the accident, if they have minimal coverage, which in Pennsylvania it's only $15,000, you're entitled to recover that, but if your injuries and your claim is worth in excess of that $15,000, you're in a tough position because if you don't have underinsurance, th there's no other type of recourse for you. There's no claim that you can make with your own insurance carrier. So you want to be mindful of that when selecting uh, insurance coverage. This is FYI News 13 Sports. I was going to call this story the Christmas shoes, but as it turns out, that's already a thing. And after listening to this song and crying for 45 minutes, I went in another direction, but it doesn't change the fact that this story is about Christmas and shoes. Ashley Gregory and Justin Murphy recently got engaged. No one has been happier about their relationship than Justin's running shoes. She did introduce me to running. Um, I actually purchased my first pair of running shoes and they sat in my trunk for the first year. So it took uh, some time for me to get out there, but she uh, introduced me to it and 
I've been running for about three years ever since. Well, the two are about to have even more fans. They're helping organize the first ever Christmas in Cunningham Classic 5K run and one mile walk. Were people excited to maybe have a race at this time of year? Because does the running program kind of die down around here? Yeah, it usually does. There's a local festival of races and it ends about November. So there aren't any winter races in December locally and so we decided it would be a good opportunity to do that. But why would you encourage people to come out and maybe do this race even if it is a little bit cold? Okay, maybe a lot cold. It's, it's a, a great way to get out with the community. Um, it's Christmas time, everyone should be very festive. Uh, it's a great way to give back to the community. You know, we have some, some great uh, charities that the money goes towards for both the run and for Christmas in Cunningham. The race will benefit the Children's Miracle Network and the Cunningham Borough Park and Recreation Committee. The race will kick off the third annual Christmas in Cunningham celebration and that includes a parade and a story from Santa. This all sounds wonderful but before you run out and buy Ashley and Justin an engagement gift you might want to hear about the course. We are utilizing Main Street um, but we are going up right away so there is a little bit of a hill and an incline in the very beginning of the race and then and it's all downhill from there. All right. And is it kind of special to you? When I talked to you before, you said your first race was here for the Valley Great Eight, so it's kind of coming home. Yeah, it's kind of sentimental for me, and I always thought about giving back to the community, so we're excited to have a race for Christmas. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, so continue with your purchases, and while you're out, you might want to pick up an elf costume or two. We're encouraging people to dress up. Um, hopefully we'll get all sorts of things, you know, uh, reindeer ears, Santa hats, Hopefully the, the whole nine yards. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is to run a 5K dressed like a reindeer. You can register online to be part of the fun on December 12th in Cunningham. The Christmas in Cunningham Classic Board had a goal of 50 runners for this inaugural race. So far they have 106 pre-registered runners. By the way, you'll learn all about Christmas in Cunningham very soon on FYI. Now, I wonder what's going on at Bottlenecks in West Hazleton tonight. Happy Wing Night! It's Wing Night at Bottlenecks. Get $2 off your order of wings or all-you-can-eat wings and boneless wings for only $14.95. Bottlenecks wings are voted best wings in the area year after year. Good evening, everyone, and here's tonight's Talk of the Town report. First tonight, the Nuremberg Community Players are presenting The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus on Saturday and Sunday, December 5th and 6th. Both shows are at 2 p.m. and only $5. A toy and clothing donation will also be collected for Brandon's Forever Home. For info or reservations, just call 570-276-6263. And finally, the MPB Community Players will be presenting their fourth annual holiday pageant, Our Christmas Gift, at two venues in the next few weeks. The production is free, but goodwill donations will be collected, with all proceeds benefiting the venue. The show will be held Sunday, December 6th at 7.30 at Catholic Social Services, and also Sunday, December 13th at 7.30 at Most Precious Blood Church. For info, just call 570-454-0178. At tonight's Talk of the Town. News 13 would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Nicholas J. Mystician of Freeland. Funeral is Thursday at 9.30 a.m. from the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home. Friends may call Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. Grace Anna Snyder of Hazleton. Services will be announced by the Hazel Chapel of the Cropton Hughes Funeral Home. Dolores Elizabeth Snover, formerly of Molenberg Township. Memorial is Friday at noon at the Laurel Dale Cemetery Chapel. The Steitzel Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Donald C. Bender of Whitehaven. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home will announce complete arrangements. And Shirley Spots of West Hazleton. Arrangements will be announced by the Turnbach Funeral Home. If you're heading to the Living Nativity and about a block away you see someone in shoddy clothes limping, it's not one of the poor shepherds, it's me coming home from the gym going to the actual event. It's a great time every year. Check it out and check out FYI again tomorrow. Take it easy everyone.